In today's video, we are going to do the God Tier Solo glitch. So, Solo, you don't need to have any other friend to help you in order to achieve the ultimate ship. And best of all, we are going to be doing it all in one complete run. There will be no editing on this video at all, so you can follow along exactly as I do it at home. So let's get into today's video. Now the very first thing you want to do is be in the anomaly. Run to the far back left when you land and go to the massive teleportation terminus. Go to space stations and we're looking for ones that look like a, a, a skull. When you click on that you'll see where it says pirate controlled. That's where we are going to go. All those are the new outlaw stations. So you don't matter which one, it doesn't matter which galaxy, just pick an outlaw station and go ahead and jump over to it. Once we land, we need to get some prep things on the way. So we're just about to spawn in now, fantastic. And as soon as I can get control of my body. Okay, now the first thing you need to know is for this glitch to work, there are only two spots in the entire station you can land. Now the spot is right here in front of me and the other spot the other landing pad that you can land for this glitch to work is this one all the other spots all the other landing spots will not work that won't work that won't work that won't work over there it's only that one and it's only that one fantastic so what we need to do is when you land and you you've jumped over uh, through the teleportation you need to go ahead and jump into whatever ship it is that you have you need to go ahead, jump into it, and as you're flying out, you are instantaneously going to put down your freighter. So what I like to do is, as I'm flying through the tunnel, is get the freighter ready to select and to press down. Once it, literally the split second it enables for me to press down, that's when I press the, the freighter down. I hope that makes sense. Go ahead and land on your freighter. Now, Next thing we are going to do before we do absolutely anything else is we are going to make a manual save. At this point, no glitches have been conducted. So it is a good opportunity right now before we do get into it to put down a manual save. That way then if anything was to go wrong at all, you have a manual save, a clean, unjink save to go back to. So do that now. Do that while you have this opportunity. I've gone ahead and I've just done it. So we're going to go down now and we need two ships. Now the first ship is whatever ship you want to turn into a god tier. It can be any ship. It doesn't matter about class. It doesn't matter what type. As long as it's a mechanical ship or if you're doing the reverse god tier, it'll need to be a living ship. But I'm assuming this is going to be a mechanical one. So pick any class you want in any type. The next thing you're going to need obviously is a living ship. Again, it doesn't matter what class, it doesn't matter what it looks like, it just needs to be any run-of-the-mill living ship. So, I've got this one right here. Fantastic! Now, we're going to go and select our primary ship, our ship that we want turned into a god tier. So, for me, that's this one. We're going to take off from the freighter, and then we're going to go ahead and land as best as we can in the outlaw station now remember it can only be one of two spots so what i like to do is when i'm flying in i try and hug the wall as close as possible so then when you're going in you have the best chance to get that prime spot which is this one right here i hope that makes sense again so we've landed now we need to be quick at this now you will need to wait for an npc ship if none of her however if an npc ship is there go ahead and speak to that npc ship once you land we're going to make an offer for the ship and we're going to buy the ship it doesn't matter again what class it is or what ship it is you just need to go ahead and buy it so if you don't have that many units wait for a ship that you can afford and then buy that instead in my case i've got this holly here what we're going to do is we're going to go to Starship Outfitting and we're going to claim the scrap with it means we're going to sell it. Once you sell it and you hit that sell button, you need to jump into your ship again and you need to do it very quickly before that other ship disappears. Because what happens is when you jump in, it will make a clone of whatever ship that spawns to your right hand side in my case anyway. So... This is obviously one of your ships, or one of my ships, should I say. 
And as you can see, it's an Ultra God tier. Don't worry about it. Whatever ship lands here, even if it's the one that you are going, if it, if it's the, like the living ship that you you're gonna use to turn it into a God tier, you need to jump into it and you need to fly off into space and go ahead and land back in your freighter. Very very important. So no matter what ship it is that lands next to you, you need to go ahead, jump into it, fly away. Very important. Land on your freighter, no matter what ship it is. I can't stress that enough. Once you are back on your freighter, this is now where we're going to go ahead and pick up your living ship. If it was a living ship that spawned next to you, just jump back into it. So we're going to jump into our living ship here. We're flying off into space. And we're just going to go ahead and land in the outlaw station now for this particular one it doesn't matter now where we land the glitch is already being done on the other ship on our primary ship so you can land absolutely anywhere it doesn't matter at this very stage once you land you're going to jump out now unfortunately your living ship will be sacrificed that means you will not be able to get back your living ship after you do this Jump into your primary ship that you want to make a god tier, fly away, say your goodbyes. And what we're going to do from here is, as you can see, it's all been cloned over. So we know that it's a god tier ship because we have alien components or living ship components in a ship. And we can also install normal mechanical components as well within the ship, which gives some amazing, amazing benefits. Now, for example, you can install a photon cannon. That'll give you at the very start of all this at least 60 to 80,000 DPS or damage per second. And it essentially turns into a chain gun that absolutely destroys everything. Just for an example of what a god tier can do. Anyway, what we need to do from here, very important, is we need to call in now the anomaly. As we call in the anomaly, we're going to fly through. After flying through, we're going to land. Now, we're going to install a piece of technology. You don't have to be fully installed. You just need to physically take up a slot. So we're going to go ahead before we jump out and we're going to put in, for my case anyway, a figurine. Okay. This is when we jump out and we're going to do a double save. So when you jump out, that makes a save. We're going to jump back in, jump back out. That's going to make another save. Now, to make sure that this has all worked beautifully and it all sticks, we're going to now reload our auto save. Now, this is where you literally cross your panties and hope that this works beautifully. Here we go. I'm back in the game. We're going to have a look. And fantastic. That works beautifully. Make sure you jump in and out and make a final save. That locks in the glitch. And that locks in absolutely everything. So, there you go, guys. That is how you make a god tier from start to finish solo. If you have any questions, any questions at all, leave them in the comment section down below. If you need any more further clarification or anything, go ahead and join us over on my Discord. I'll have a link for that in the video description down below. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this longer, uncut video. And as always, my name is Professor Cynical, and I'll catch you all again in the next one. Bye for now. Still got your attention for another quick second. Can I just ask to leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed it? Leave a dislike if you didn't like it. Now, if you really want to be generous today and you really like today's video and what I do, you want to support me as a creator, then feel free to leave me a super chat message. And this also allows anything that you write on there to be seen on the actual comment section nice and big and colorful so i'll be able to see it straight away so if you do go down that route today i want to say a massive thank you and i want to say a massive massive thank you to absolutely everybody for the continued support massive thanks to my patreons as you can see the glorious names on the patreon wall you there you want to show off which faction is best well now you can with exclusive stickers you'll only find over on my patreon Grab yourself a Geck Nation Corvex or Viking Nation sticker. Slap it on your desk, slap it on your PC, even slap it on the bumper of your car and let the whole world know that you love stickers. So what are you waiting for? Link in the video description.